So here we are in the kitchen. Normal kitchen, very little sacrifice in terms of functioning, yet we use a lot less energy. Let's see how. First, we want to start with water use. For years, I was buying five, six gallons of water a week. Okay, um, I decided to not buy water anymore for life and get what we call an aqua rain gravity fed natural water filter. Okay, what this is is an advanced ceramic carbon granulated silver oxide filter. Okay, that filters out to 0.2 microns bacteria, even pharmaceuticals, almost everything. Um, they're about $42 each filter and they last three to five years depending on your water. Um, what we do is uh, we just keep filling this up and we have a uh, room temperature water all the time. No water bottles to buy, no gallons, nothing. This was a total, the device is a couple hundred dollars, they come in different sizes, each filter is forty dollars. To life out your water, it's about a seven hundred dollar investment. It'll save you at least ten thousand plus if you buy water every week in the gallons. Okay? Phone, we got rid of our 24-hour modem uh, internet phone that you have to leave the modem on all the time. We got rid of that and have a basic landline phone. Uses zero energy. When the power goes out, the phone works. Lighting, okay? Uh, when we have guests over, we use the nice halogen lighting, but instead of 50-watt bulbs, we lowered them to 20, pretty standard. And instead, for lighting, we use a uh, up lamp with a compact fluorescent 20-watt bulb. Pretty straightforward. Okay, the fridge is a big energy hog. Okay, this is what we did. We ran the kilowatt meter for a week running the fridge without a timer just to see what it used. Okay, it used about 1300 watts a day. Then, the following week, same temperature and all variables the same, we used a timer and had the fridge go off about 10 hours a day. A few hours in the afternoon bunch of hours at night, so about 10 hours a day. We found out that it used about 30 or 40 percent less energy. You want to check with your electrical person about whether that's okay, but for me, it works. Um, other things that we did that you want to do, you want to keep your fridge and freezer packed as much as possible. Keep ice packs in the freezer. We lowered the appliance bulb wattage from 40 to 20. Um, if the power goes out, you just take the ice packs in the freezer, put it in the fridge, and you got a giant cooler for a couple days. Okay, now, the electric stove. This is a big one. Using your TED energy detective, you want to figure out which burner uses the least amount. It happens to be this center one, about 12, 1500 watts. What we found was that with this clock on standby, it was using almost 20 watts, or like two cable boxes worth of energy. Um, now, when I program the clock off, um, I also discovered that the uh, stove was still using 10, about 10 watts or one cable box worth. In the middle of the night I came and this was warm and lit up blue and it is uh, warm actually. Um, so the only way to completely kill the stove okay, was to install a disconnect switch in the back. Okay, This completely kills it. When you want to cook, you just turn it on and the stove comes on. Next, the microwave. Every time you use the microwave, we just pop on the power strip, use the microwave, and you're done, you shut it off. This clock uses about 7 watts, okay, about $500 over 30 years, depending on your rates. Um, dishwasher. Energy Star dishwasher. Okay, the key is we do all of our dishes on light china and energy saver dry. Um, believe it or not, the light china mode does actually uh, clean fine for us. Um, we also have a kill switch here so that there's no standby power. So this is, ba this is basically it. what we did in the kitchen and it works out great. Okay, now we're in the bathroom. Standard great bathroom uses a lot less water and energy. Let's see why. Um, first as far as water, okay, the reason why you save uh, money and energy with water is because if you have your own private well where you pay for city water. If you use less water, your well pump is going to run less. You're going to replace it less often. If you're on city water, you pay for less water. Okay, as far as um, if you have a private uh, septic or sewer, you have to pay for the, how much water you use. Uh, wastewater in the city, your septic field, if you have one of those, 
uh, will last longer because you have less water going into it. Very important. Okay. Uh, what we started with was an exhaust fan, an Energy Star exhaust fan. It comes with a built-in compact fluorescent. Okay. The key thing with the fan is kids leave it on for an hour or two or you forget it. Okay. We put it on a timer. It's a nice dial timer. You turn it 15, 20 minutes, goes off automatic. All right. We put compact fluorescent bulbs up here. We reverse the fixture so you don't see the bulbs. It gives nice uplighting. As far as water in the sink, we put an aerator in. This uses maybe a gallon a minute. Perfectly fine. Unnoticeable. Next, which is real key, is what we call a dual flush toilet. Okay, these are becoming really popular in America. This uses 0.9 gallons per flush or 1.6. Okay, so you can have a choice of what you want to use. Okay, it saves a lot of water. It works very well. Next, and lastly, we have a low flow shower head. You could either use at the most two and a half gallons a minute or zero. We tend to use about one and a half to two. It's fully adjustable from zero to two and a half gallons. Okay, all the showers have that. So that sums up the bathroom. All right, air conditioning is a huge energy load on the home. We were able to eliminate it by doing a bunch of things. First, what we did was, down here, we have two attic floor vents. We put fans in to draw the cool air up in the summertime. Then we did a bunch of stuff up in the attic. First, you want to make sure your attic door is sealed properly. Next, we put an Owens Corning pink cap. It's basically an attic stair insulator box made of insulating styrofoam. Just lifts right off. Very easy. Next what we did was we sealed up all the wiring cracks and everything with foam coming up through the floor and then we put a second layer the opposite way of unfaced insulation. You want to do that in your whole attic so you get a nice insulating coat. Then we move to the roof part. We put three foot gutters to pull the air from the eaves. Can't see it. Um, and then over that we put a radiant barrier. Okay, they use this on the space stations and in, in space suits. This reflects heat back out so the attic doesn't get as hot. The hot air comes behind here, travels up to the ridge vent, you leave an opening here. High air goes right out in the ridge vent. We also have a solar powered uh, attic fan that goes on automatically when it's 80 degrees. It clicks on, it's zero energy. And that's it for the attic.